Hi everyone and welcome for you joining this second project. I'm your tutor Niels and today we're going to look at a fully parametric roof. We're going to create and manipulate a surface which is essential for Grasshopper. Next to that we're going to have a look at intersecting a line and a plane and we're going to create a volume of the column. So for the covered components next to the line SDL line and number sliders we're going to have a look at a new components. Interplate, mesh surface, loft, pipe, line to plane intersect, random reduce and phase normals. So let's get to it. Our roof surface is going to be made with a component loft. And this can be found on the surface, freeform loft. As you can see it has two input values, curves and options. So to make a surface we need at least two curves to actually draw a surface in between. So for the double curve nature for a roof, we're going to make these curves with at least three points. So as with the previous project, we use XYZ point to create a point. So let's copy and paste two additional points. So we can specify a curve based on these three points. With a number slider, we can input values for X, Y, and Z. So let's create a number slider from let's say 0 to 10 and let's input some uh, additional values for the other points so that we can have three points on diff three different locations. So let's create this curve by using the component interpolate which can be found on the curve, spline and interpolate. So it has four input values and for us vertices which are the points are the most important ones. So let's input all of the three points by holding shift and connecting it to the point output. As you can see we created this freeform curve which is visible in the left side in the Rhino window. For creating the second curve we're going to copy and paste all of the components and we're going to want to translate this curve along the Y axis. So we can do this by having an integer slider connected to the y coordinates of all these points. So let's change a little bit of the values of the z and x coordinates and connect the curves of the interpolate, interpolate output to the curves of the loft. As you can see we created this really nice double curved surface. And we can show that it's parametric by changing the x, y and z coordinates of the constructed point. As you can see it completely changes and this is the power of a fully parametric model. For making support and columns we want to generate points on the surface. One way by doing this is to mesh the surface and find the center points. Meshing the surface is essentially subdividing the surface into smaller bits. We can do this with the component mesh surface which can be found on the mesh util. It has inputs service and UV counts which is for us important and UV is essentially the number of subdivisions in X and Y direction. Let's connect the surface input with the loft output. For our UV count we want to have at least 10 of each to create 100 subdivisions. To find the center point for each rectangle we can use the component phase normals under mesh and analysis. So we use our input as input or a mesh and for outputs it has the center points and the normal factor for each point. To create our random set of columns we can use the component random reduce under set sequence. So what it essentially does is that the list that is being inputted is randomly reduced by a set integer. So we, for us we're going to create an integer slider ranging from 0 to 100 and set it to let's say 85. So what you can see if I select it that we created 15 points which are randomly assigned. We want to create the columns which run perpendicular to the roof surface and connect to the ground surface. We can do this by the component line STL which we already seen in the project 1. We can supply it with a direction and with a starting point. 
So for our starting points, we want to have the random reduced center points. And for our direction, we use the normal vectors of our phase normals. So let's copy the random reduce and supply this with the normal vectors. So now we have all the normal vectors which are also selected by the random reduce. So let's supply it in a direction. And what you can see is that already the component shows the direction of the line. So let's create a bit longer line so you can see it more easily. They all have different lengths and we can solve this by intersecting the lines with the ground surface. We can do this with the component line plane intersect found under intersect mathematical. So it needs inputs a line and a plane. So the line is clear, we already have these lines from line SDL. And for a plane we can use a XY plane which can be found under factor and plane. So let's supply both line and a plane. And what we can see is that it, the points are created at the ground surface. So let's grab a line component and connect the center points on the surface with the intersected points on the ground surface. And as you can see, we created the columns. The columns are not very visible right now, so let's make them a little bit more pronounced by the component pipe, which can be found on the surface freeform. So what pipe essentially does is creates a kind of volume around this given line. So it is an input curve in which we are going to input the lines we created. And it has an input radius in which we can specify the exact thickness of the pipe. So as you can see right now, we created a very nice service with columns. So let's play with the input parameters. At the beginning, we set the x, y and z values of the coordinates of the points. So if we change that, we can see that the surface and also the columns are completely changing with it. So we created this fully parametric roof in which we can explore different shapes. So that was it. We built an amazing roof structure. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you have any comments or feedbacks, please let us know.